welcome back to my channel. This is Shanice Vino Shanice, period. Title. Today's video is going to be a transform with me from this to this. Period. So, before you get to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell so you know if I to my post, I'm going to do anything on the channel, y'all. I think I'm going to even tell you guys a story time while I'm transforming, like while I'm doing my hair and picking out my outfits and stuff. So, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to be looking in this direction to the mirror that is in front of me, and you guys are just going to watch me transform. I have a story time of my crazy psycho ex and then I also have a story time of the first time I got cheated on and I fought him outside of my school. If I tell the story time of my crazy psycho ex, I want to have the receipts to show you guys. So I'm going to tell the story time of the time I fought my ex, the first guy that ever cheated on me, I fought him outside of my school on campus in college. So my senior year of high school is when I started smoking. Up until my senior year of high school, I had never smoked before. But then my senior year of college, on my birthday, my 18th birthday, was the first time I ever smoked, literally. I had a hotel party with one of my friends. My first time smoking, I wasn't even that smack. Like, I was drunk already, so I couldn't even tell if I was high. I stopped smoking, by the way. But now I'll be knowing, like, okay, I'm like, I'm little, I'm, I'm smack, I'm smizz. I feel it. cross faded is a whole different feeling, so... Now I'll be known, but back then I didn't know if I was high or not. So after my first time smoking, I'm thinking I'm cool. So I'm like, well, I didn't really feel it my first time, so I want to go smoke again. So at the time, I knew that this boy, I knew that he like he smoked and stuff, and I had thought he sold weed. So being as I thought he sold weed, I texted one of my friends, and I'm like, do you want to smoke? Because I guess she had smoked already before as well. So I was like, do you want to smoke? And she's like, yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna hit so and so, tell him to give us like drop off some valley for us, and. So basically, I called up the guy and but like, I'm trying to get high. So do you like got any bagging on you? And he was like, no, but he'll smoke with me. He was like, I'm about to come pick y'all up. So then he came and I got into the car and I'm like, oh, like, let's wait for it to come outside. He's like, oh, no, we're going to go get the we come back and get Me and him, we go. He's getting out the car and I'm trying to hand him my money and he's not taking it. He gets back into the car and we go back around to where I live. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm finna call her. He's like, no, I want to just smoke with you. And I'm like... No, like my friend is waiting. She's literally waiting for us. He's like, nah, I just want to smoke with you. And it's like, da, 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 da. Like, we can smoke with her later. Like, let's just roll one. I'm like, okay, whatever. So then we roll one. And by the time we finished smoking, she was like, she didn't want to go anymore. Which I understand, y'all. I messed up for this. I should have took the body to go with my friend or just not have smoked with him. But I don't know. I was feeding it at the time. We smoke and we chopping it up. We talking or whatever. He cool. Cool people. Then the next day, he texted me and asked if I wanted to smoke again after how I got out of school. So I was like, yeah. And then after that, like we dead ass used to just smoke together all the time. That's how that started. And me and became cool. We started to get closer and closer. During the summer, me and him started hanging out more and more and more and more. Us being together every day again turns into him being my little, my little man. He used to have motion. He used to be making moves. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. So, like, sometimes we wouldn't get to be together. Like, I didn't want to be with him in the car all the time. So, sometimes, you know, he'd be doing his old thing. And he'd be with his boys and stuff. And, like, I was cool with it. So, y'all, me and him, we, like, beefing. He was beefing for probably like two, three weeks. I still follow him on his social medias and stuff. And I'm still watching his stories, viewing his shit or whatever. Because I'm making sure he's not doing no bullshit. And one day, I see him post some girl. Like, it was a fast-ass video. And it was only up for probably like 30 minutes. So I swiped up on the story. And I'm like, who is this? Like, don't play with me. Because if you want to take it there, I can take it there. And y'all, one thing for sure, two things for certain. If I got to get my leg back, that joke won't hurt 10 times worse than what you got to do. 10 times worse than what you did, or, nigga, you gonna need a perk after that. Um, he replied back and he like, that's his cousin. Really, nigga? Y'all, once a nigga say that's his cousin, once a nigga say that's his sister, once a nigga say anybody in his family, he lying. He's lying. It's automatically a lie. So I'm like, boy, you're capped out. I know every single one of your family members. I know all your cousins. And all your cousins is light-skinned. 
this girl is darker than me. Like, that's not your cousin. He's like, no, I'm for real, for real. This is my cousin from California, yo. I'm like, okay. I start to believe him because he's like, oh, this is my cousin from so-and-so. And he gives me a name. And I'm like, okay, that's really his aunt. And it kind of like, you know, I'm like, okay, it, it makes sense if that, that would be his cousin because that lady is a little brown skin. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So then after I took him that, he was like, what are you doing? I'm going to come get you. Like, let's talk. I don't know exactly what the conversation was, but I don't know. We started kicking it again after that. Like, we, we was back on good terms. But I'm like, there's no possible way you can know a person, every single person in somebody's family. So I left it alone, madam. I should have thought, like, why would you be posting your cousin? That's what I really should have thought. But, like, you know, young and dumb. We were together for a couple of months. I don't know exactly how long. If I'm not mistaken, I think we broke up that January. We got together that June or July. And in December, I was supposed to be going home for break. My man, my man, my man. All about my man, my man, my man. Like, y'all, everything is really cool. Like, you know, I met all his friends. I used to go out and hang out with him. Like, y'all, I thought it was cool to be hanging out with the hood niggas, being on the still currently i hate speaking by myself but uh my roommate was from texas at the time and she was going to be going home early so i was going to be on campus by myself and i'm like dang like i'm a little scared i don't want to be here by myself so of course i told my name my name my name to come to the campus and come sleep with me the day for him to come stay on campus comes and he was supposed to be there at 10 o'clock like, around nine o'clock comes and i'm texting him and he just stops replying 9 30 comes no reply 10 o'clock comes y'all no reply and by 11 o'clock, I'm like, okay, well, now you know you're supposed to be here. Like, you know you're supposed to be here. You're, it's, it's been hours. Like, you haven't been replying for mad long. And you're supposed to be here. You know I'm scared to go to sleep by myself. Like, I was pissed, y'all. And by 12 o'clock, replies back to me. He's like, he's on his way. I'm upstairs, and I go sign him in and let him inside. So then I'm asking him, like, where you was at? What you was doing? Like, I'm confused. You know you are supposed to be here two hours ago. And y'all, for some reason... Like, I just thought it was real fishy that he stopped applying. Like, maybe if he would have kept applying, I would have been like, okay, all right. Maybe he was busy. Maybe he had, you know, he didn't finish by 10 o'clock exactly. But, y'all, something was just real fishy about the whole situation. Something tells me to check his phone. But I, by this time, like, I know everything about you. When I went through his phone, I didn't see nothing. I went through his, through his text messages, clean. I went through his call log, clean. So, you know what I decided to go through, y'all? I went through his photos and not his regular photos, his Snapchat photos. Tell me why y'all, I see a video of this girl. When I look at it, I'm like, wait, this looks like the girl, his cousin that he had posted on his story and then deleted back in June. I played the video over a couple of times and something tells me to turn the sound up. I hear him snoring, y'all. Me putting two and two together and making two and two make Three. I asked him again, like, what were you doing? Why didn't you reply? What's tea? What's happening? What was going on, y'all? He makes up a whole story. Honestly, he makes up a whole lie. And I don't believe shit that he's saying, y'all. But he just, he ended up leaving campus, and that was that. He calls me, and he's trying to talk. And I'm like, I don't want to speak. I don't want to talk. Don't call my phone no more. He's like, he's coming to school. He wants to talk in person. And at this time, I wasn't as crazy as I am. Well, I'm not crazy no more. But this was like, I think the start of my crazy. Like, I wasn't crazy before this, but I was crazy until after this. So he comes to my school. I go downstairs. And he's trying to talk to me. And y'all, the more he's speaking to me is the more he's lying and the more he's pissing me off. I literally just stole off on a nigga. Like, I feel like you got one up on me. You're the first nigga to ever cheat on me. And the more that I started thinking about it, the more pissed I got, y'all. I stole off on a nigga. Because when I said I wasn't letting him back in my school building, y'all, I was not playing. I was fighting him outside of my building. I was fighting him outside of my dorm building. The cafe is literally right across the street from me. Like, not the cafe, but, like, one of the restaurants is right across the street from me. And I'm there boxing my nigga up outside in front. Like, we got campus police and everything, y'all. And I don't give a damn. I'm just like, you don't play. With me, I'm gonna show you why you shouldn't have. Y'all, he wasn't really hitting me back, but at one point he gets my hair and he wraps his hand around my hair and he's pulling my head down like this. So with my head down like this, I'm boop 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 his ass still. Matthew was walking past across the cat and they just like, yeah, girl, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. Ain't nobody have to jump in because y'all, I was tagging him. Like, I was really. And then his friend comes. And they break it up or whatever. And we stopped fighting. And he left, y'all. He left the school. That's the, really the part of the story that I wanted to tell. He cheated on me with his cousin. So I fought him outside of my school. And I whooped his ass. Did I get back with him? Yes. Y'all probably wondering why I got back with him. 
but and i'm sorry to this man if he's watching this story because i whooped his ass because i was so pissed because i've never gotten cheated on before like yo this is really like traumatizing to me I had to, and it'd be the ones that be chasing you for mad long that once they get you they we only got back together because i had cheated on him before he even cheated on me so and the first time he's finding that out is today because i was going to take that to the grave y'all my gang so just pretend i never said that that's the end of that story time what if i take these pink curls down and they like they fall or something i don't know but i'm gonna do my edit Okay, so guys, now that I'm done, my eyebrows look a little dark. I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'm gonna come back to you guys to end this video out. So I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back to show you guys the finished product. And this is me after I took the pink curls down. You know, it's cute or whatever. And are you guys ready to see the fit or no? Like, comment down below if you're ready to see the fit. Okay, I think I'm ready. Don't mind my lips, they're a little ashy. These are the shoes. They're um um um. I was gonna call them Air Force Ones. They're Jordan Ones. Force Jordan Force. The sales. I knew that. See, see. Got the little cargo camel pants going on, and this sweater that is from Tilly's. See, I'm putting y'all on a game. Come on now. And then I got this bag from Cotton On. Don't mind the front because it don't match my fit. So when I post my pictures, they're going to be on this side. They're going to pretend that y'all did not know that there was something on the back. And yeah, my hair is done. My fit is done. And I went from, I went from period A to period uh. Not period A, period uh, period A, period uh. Yeah, so guys, make sure you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit notification. I'll say no for my post. I will do anything on the channel. I hope you guys like the story time of that boy cheating on me and breaking my heart with his cousin. And if you're his cousin, because I used to, y'all, I didn't even tell you the full story. If I want me to go into detail with the story for real, for real, and tell you how I used to argue with that girl, and I took him back like three times after he cheated like three times, let me know down in the comments and I get out a full story time with the receipts and everything. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But that's gonna be it in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and bye guys.